Welcome back to another episode of Paint with Michelle and our next painting in our series, Cool Cats and Kittens. Coogie Cat is the title for this month's painting, which is inspired by the mixed pattern trend of the late 80s and early 90s. Near the end of the 20th century, both art and fashion of the time started experimenting with mixing patterns and colors. It was a time, especially in fashion, when Coos Van Den Acker and Coogie were designing very bold sweaters. This was also reflected in the art world. Patterns that were once thought of to clash with each other were instead combined. This type of art was heavily inspired and influenced by African tribal art and cubism, but they replaced the traditional rich tones with more vibrant and pop-like colors of the time. While many artists continued to create art with paint, other artists started to explore the world of digital design and graphics as computers were becoming more available for home use. By the time of the mid-1990s, this style of art was seen in most homes as it evolved into a more modern style of folk art. Some artists, like Laurel Birch, became so popular that they often commercialized on their popularity by adding the artwork to clothing and even offering classes on how to create similar paintings at home. Now let's get our supplies ready for our own art piece. In the video, I'm using a 16 inch by 20 inch white canvas. I'm also using white gesso and a sponge brush. You will need to use various acrylic paint colors various colors of paint pen markers, several different sizes and styles of paint brushes, paper towels and cups of water to rinse brushes, and paper plates to mix custom colors, an 18 inch ruler or something with a flat edge around 18 inches long, and finally, a pencil and an eraser. For your first step, you'll need to prime your canvas by applying the white gesso with a sponge brush. Let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. Once dry, take the pencil and near the middle of your canvas, draw two open triangles close together to create a pair of cat ears. Connect the open triangles with a large U-shape. This will be the basic shape for the cat's face. Starting near the bottom left of the face, draw a backwards J to create the first paw. Next, draw a smaller regular J right next to the first paw to create a second one, with the line not connecting to the face. Now draw the round part of a capital letter D coming from the neck area and connecting to the paws. Finally, draw a large J starting from the cat's rear area, rounding the end around and connecting back to the rear to create a tail. Now get your ruler or flat edge and make several lines across the canvas but behind the cat's image. These lines will be creating the color block sections that will be filled in with different styles of patterns as the background. Some sections will be thick and others will be thinner, so be sure to make each section a different size from the one above or below itself. Now find about three different sizes of circle objects to trace them onto the canvas in order to make some bubble shapes. You'll need some large bubbles, 
some medium sized bubbles and small bubbles to give a good variation. Once you have all the areas mapped out in pencil, get your paints ready to go. You'll want to start with your main base color. In this video, I'm using navy blue and filling in four lines for the background. Next, I'm choosing random colors to fill in the rest of the lines. Be sure to use bold colors and try to avoid putting colors that are very similar next to each other. You may need to paint two to three coats depending on the opacity of the paint. Once the background is done, you will want to fill in your cat's ears with a dark color and blend it into a lighter color for an ombre effect. In this video, my cat goes from red to pink to orange to yellow. This effect is repeated in the cat's body and tail. Next, use the same ombre technique for each of the bubbles you traced. These bubbles only need two colors for the effect, one dark and one light. Go ahead and add some final touch-ups like dry brushing some strokes of darker colors into the background or adding a nose and let your painting dry. Once the painting is completely dry, take a black paint pen marker and a ruler to go over the edges of each of the background lines. Then, outline each bubble and the cat. Next, use contrasting paint pen markers to make a different pattern in each background line. Try not to repeat a pattern. You can do a Google search for thousands of different types of patterns and shapes that can be used for this effect. Once the patterns are added, go ahead and add the smaller details to the cat's paws and face. As a final optional step, use gold acrylic paint to add accents to the cat and to the bubbles. Once you are happy with the design, add your artist signature. This is a fun design for the whole family to try. Play around with colors and patterns to make your own work of cat art. Thank you for watching this episode of Paint with Michelle. We'll see you next month for another perfect work of art.